from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Stacia Knight. Well, the heat is not letting up anytime soon, but we're just going to be hoping for some rain chances here and there to help us cool off. And then I'll take you a look at coming up at the 8 to 14 day outlook, show you what it looks like farther out past just next week. And I don't know if you'll like what you see, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, we start in the mid to upper 70s. No surprise there and still about 10 degrees warmer than normal. It'll be a warm, muggy start to the day. And then in the afternoon, we're back in the 90s, low 90s. It should be our fifth day in a row uh, for highs in the 90s. But the heat index will be around 100 to 102 tomorrow. I mentioned earlier in the newscast that today, almost all of us did not make it into the triple digits for the heat index. That was great. But tomorrow, I think more of us will probably creep up into the low 100s for the heat index in the afternoon. Of course, take it easy because this is dangerous heat and it can sneak up on us pretty quickly, especially for folks that work outside. For heat indices tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Tulsa to the north feeling the triple digits, about 100 to 102. Down in southeast Oklahoma, you guys will probably be topping out in the upper 90s for the heat index, and you'll also be missing out on the rain chances for Wednesday night. There is a cool front sinking down from Kansas. The cool front doesn't quite get into our area. It'll get close, potentially stalling out in southeast Kansas near the Oklahoma-Kansas line. That does give us a very slight chance of some isolated showers and some rumbles of thunder along that boundary. You have a 10% chance here in Tulsa and Bristow and Pryor. 20% chance of an Independence and Coffeeville. So we're going to be watching Wednesday night. They may linger into early Thursday morning. After that, it dries out and Thursday afternoon, we're in the mid 90s, but the heat index Thursday afternoon will be close to 105. Friday afternoon up to 104 with that daytime high at about 97. Today, we did not have heat advisories. We didn't make it to heat advisory criteria, and that was a good thing. But we may see more days this week, particularly Thursday and Friday, where we could have heat advisories issued again by the National Weather Service. This weekend, heat indices come down just a smidge, but again, we'll take anything we can get. And we'll have heat indices 100 up to 102 through the weekend. Now, our rain chances. I mentioned it's a slim chance Wednesday into Thursday. Every opportunity we have for rain right now through the middle of next week is pretty slim at 10%. Wednesday night into Thursday, it's from I-44 to the north. Friday night across southeast Oklahoma, you may have a few showers and a few thunderstorms. And then Saturday in our far eastern counties near the Oklahoma-Arkansas line, there'll be a chance for some isolated showers and some thunderstorms as well. We talked about Saharan dust earlier in the 9 o'clock newscast, and we've had Saharan dust in the area. It's looking a little hazy across Oklahoma and Texas and even all the way up into the Great Lakes. This is not uncommon for this time of year. In fact, these air masses that come off of the Saharan desert with all of that dust, they move in about three to five days, moving off of the Saharan desert across the Atlantic, sometimes getting into the Gulf of Mexico and then coming up into Oklahoma. Now, what the Saharan dust does is it does limit our tropical storm development when it's in the Gulf and it can add to some air quality issues as it moves up. I think it's going to be probably the most thick on us on Friday morning and then after that it should start to really thin out but it can give us some air quality issues. It can also give us some beautiful sunrises and some beautiful sunsets. That's something to maybe look forward to on a very hot nine-day planner with every day in the 90s.